there, it's Carol Morrock at carolmorrock.com. Welcome to my solo and smart YouTube channel where I offer achievable tips for people who are living solo. And today's uh, video, I want to talk about or actually to address the question, will you need long-term care? Uh, because I just read an article in, in thinkadvisor.com and the title was, what are the odds your client will need long-term care? And it highlights data from HealthView Services, which is a producer of healthcare cost projection software. And they project for a healthy 65-year-old couple living to their projected actuarial longevity has a 75% chance that one partner will require significant level of long-term care in the future. And this data reflects the results of another study that I'm very familiar with, and, that, and this one was published at Inquiry in November of 2005, where the analysis projected that people uh, currently turning 65 will need long-term care for three years on average. And the needed care will be covered by public programs and some private insurance. But much of the care, as you probably can guess, will be, <clears throat> will be an uninsured private responsibility of those individuals and their families. And it suggests that a third of those now turning 65 are projected to never receive family care. Well, I will be one of those that will never receive family care because I am living solo. However, even some people who have family will never receive care from them. Uh, however, uh, a third will rely on family care for more than two years. And the rest of them, like me, will have, uh, will have to rely on private out-of-pocket expenditures to, uh, to pay for that care. So coming from my family caregiving experience and working in the senior care sector, I know the significance of planning for personal care uh, and the expenses that are related to that type of care. And unfortunately, many adults don't prepare and find themselves in a frenzy uh, looking for help because they've fallen into an emergency situation. As a matter of fact, not a week goes by without receiving three or four frantic messages from people in a crisis situation. They land in my email box at least three or four times a week. And the people that are writing me are very fearful and begging for help. I do my best, of course, to direct them, but where they land usually isn't in the best situations. So what sets those aging well apart from those who are not? And that is having a plan and really putting together a well thought out process of how you plan to, um, to take care of some of the bigger issues like your health, home, location, or how you'll find, where will you find transportation, you're getting your legal and financial matters uh, together as well as staying in good physical shape and even keeping close social connections and engagement with, with nearby friends. Those are some of the biggest issues that we have to plan for. So, you know, I know that no one wakes up thinking, today I'm going to put a plan together just in case I need it. People do need one. They just don't know where to start. That's my opinion. So I've created useful tools and processes that assist individuals when thinking about their future. And it's the one that I've developed for myself years ago after my parents died. And now I teach others to do it for themselves. And I call it, one of the things that I do, I call it the Aging Well Circle. 
And it's a tool that, that really launched my own future plan. And that circle came about after observing my parents in the later years. And that tool gave me, and now it gives others, the chance to assess their life's domains and the opportunity to witness where they fall short and where they excel. So once uh, individuals have a solid handle on their strengths and weaknesses of these top concerns, they can then proceed to take action and put together a plan that works for them. Because in the end, the objective is to assess your life and needs, know your requirements and preferences, and find solutions that appeal to those preferences. So if you want to learn more about my group coaching, my private coaching, the courses that I teach, as well as other uh, webinars, please contact me at carol at carol at carolmarock.com. And I will have a link to my email below in the description of this video. Well, thank you for joining me today. Please circle back where I will have more tips in the near future. Thank you.